food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, rap and a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made a black Go check out my SoFi store for cheap and exclusive products, links in the description guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Tim Pisse back with another Photoshop tutorial and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool, simple, awesome thumbnail background. It's really easy, um, you don't need much, all you need is the brush pack that I'll put in the link in the description below so you can just download that. It's actually Sezo's, um 40k brush pack, it's free so yeah, you can download that, it's got really cool brushes. You only need to use a couple though, but anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So, first of all, you're going to need to just have any colour, you don't... You can change it at the end with the hue and saturation, but um, I'm just going to choose blue. So, first of all, go to the round brush, and just like do a couple dots on top, and then bring down the opacity. Oh, make sure it's on the new layer, guys. Just completely forgot. So, a couple of dots at the top, bring down this, and then once you've done that, go to this one, 2085, it's so, like this really cool like stagger effect, add a new layer, and then just click a couple of times, go all the way around the page, like so, looks really cool, and then Bring down the opacity to around uh, 20%. So once you've done that, add a new layer again, and then go to the one next to it, which is 3000. Oops. And then you just want to kind of go over the page, just in the same position. Just leave the brush in the same position, just click a couple of times, and then you get this. Then go to overlay and bring down the opacity to 30% is good and then once you've done that add, oh no in fact go to the rectangle tool and go around the outside, make sure it's white you want to make it quite thin, not thick and make sure it's all the same length all the way around like so I'm just going to do it quick for you guys Move that over a bit. And then, once you've done that, make sure they're all the same length. They might not be the same length on here, but anyway. And go to overlay. Bring that down. It's like a border. Looks cool. Um, once you've done that, go to new layer. Make sure you've got pen tool selected. Click at the bottom left and the top right. Then click in the middle on the line. Hold control and bring it down a bit over here, so it's like a curved line. And then, connect it up, fill path, black. And then once you've done that, go to overlay. And it gives it a really cool effect when you drag down the opacity. Looks really cool. And once you've done that, add a new layer. Then go to the brush tool. And you want a dark blue, that'll look good and make sure it's on round brush. And then you just want to drag down at the bottom like so. And then I'll see what looks good. Um, colour dodge looks pretty good. And you can just leave it like that. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, you can add like some CCs. Go to brightness and contrast. You can just like, bring that down a bit. And bring up the contrast. Uh, or you could add colour curves. Not colour goes, just curves. Bring this one up a bit. And then this one down a bit. And you could also add a photo filter. You can choose whatever you want, I might just choose like pink or something. And then once you when you group all these together, all the like corrections and just hide it, you can see the difference. It does look a lot better, the darker one. And then once you've done that you can just add text, whatever you want. So I'm just going to have a tutorial. So yeah, that's basically it. It's just how to get a really cool background stock. It just, it's really cool. You can have it on thumbnails, or you could even have it on banners or posters. It's really cool. So make sure you download this um, brush pack in the description. It says those packs. So go check out his channel. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. 
uh, make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new please subscribe we're getting close to 650 subs and uh, share as well but yeah guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video